Yeah. Does that confirm that you did this or that this is your data? Yeah. So when you're, what the blockchain piece confirms really, and this is where, uh, you know, I apologize because in background, one of the things that's important to remember uh, about me is I, I started my career as a modeler, as an analyst, a failure analyst, I started in the aerospace industry working with rockets. And so there's, okay. there's a lot of these new techs that I will get sometimes, uh, you know, sort of brutally cynical about quickly, right? And blockchain is one of those that has a very valuable capability, but it is incredibly limited. And we're using blockchain for its incredibly limited value. And the incredibly gotcha. limited value that blockchain has is when a piece of data is in the system, it can prove to you that if I see that data again, it can say, yep, this is the exact same data that I saw before at this point in the system. Nothing's been modified. Nothing's been changed. It is exactly the same, right? Um, so if I'm looking at that as a, as a value prop here, um, when you're looking at compliance, what blockchain can do is it can cut your cost of authenticating a document to an instant in something that if I went to court otherwise would cost me 20 grand for someone to say, well, I can't see that's that wrong, right? But that's negative. It can't disprove a negative. It does nothing at making sure the data in there is better if the data that fed in is bad, right? It only is able to say, this is the evidence that I've seen. This evidence hasn't actually changed. So it can protect mm -hmm. you from Volkswagen, for example, right? When you look at the Volkswagen issue, that was an issue of, boy, they just went and changed the date on the back end, said it's this, and then all of a sudden you go and do an audit, and you're like, oh, boy, that's not the same. 